Hey guys, this is what the examiners are looking for if they ask you a question about fractional distillation. They love asking about fractional distillation as a nice, long, big question. So it's really, really important that we have a good understanding of this. So here is our fractional distillation column. And in the bottom, we just put our hot mixture of crude oil. And what we are going to have is a temperature gradient. So things are going to get cooler as we move up and it is going to be hot at the bottom. So the crude oil is heated as it goes in. We need to evaporate it. Now, not all of it is going to be evaporated. There is going to be some sludgy stuff that just won't evaporate. And that's what's going to come out the bottom as bitumen. Now, the column is hotter at the bottom and it's cooler at the top. It has this temperature gradient because as the little bits go in, what they're going to do is work their way up and they're going to find the point at which they condense. And at the point that they condense, they're going to come off as a fraction. Now, like I said, some of the stuff will never condense and will never evaporate away and will just come off as like long, long chains of hot, gooey, gunky stuff. And some of the teeny tiny little ones are going to make their way all the way to the top and come out as a gas. But what we're looking for is things condensing at different boiling points. Now I know that might seem like a really confusing sentence because boiling points are points where things boil. So why are they condensing at their boiling points? Boiling point and condensing point are the same number. It's just the point at which something turns from a liquid to a gas or a gas to a liquid. Doesn't matter which way it's turning, it's still the same number. So I could have said that things condensing are at that condensing point, but you've probably never heard of a condensing point. So boiling point is much, much common common term. It's just when they get to that specific temperature, they will turn from a gas into a liquid. So as well as our temperature gradient, we're also going to get a gradient of things that are coming off. So long chains are going to be at the bottom and short chains are going to be at the top. Now, we can get some really, really useful things out of this. Uh, for example, petrol or gas um, that we use in our homes, that we use for heating, can come out of this. But the initial crude oil that we put in really isn't very useful. We need to fraction it out, get all the different parts out so that they're pure, so that we can actually use them for different things. If we just dumped a load of crude oil into our car, it would, it would be a mess. It would really, really ruin the engine. And the reason because of this is that everything has different boiling points. So we need to sort them out into groups of similar boiling points so that we can use them for certain properties. And the short ones, are useful ones. The long ones aren't necessarily very useful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.